So on the ski field, the, the warning system will play a recorded sound telling visitors to move to high ground in, in case there's an eruption. Move immediately out of valleys to high ground. This is a volcanic emergency. A lahar is expected to pass through the ski area. Move immediately to high ground. Just as we're about to get out of the vehicle, uh, we could hear people saying, mountains erupting, and um, people were just scattered everywhere and running everywhere. And so my recollection was when we're three quarters of an hour away from the mountain, but we could see a definite glow from a long way away. And, um, and during the daylight hours, we could see a lot of ash coming, heading towards the east, uh, which of course, um, we dodged the bullet because we didn't get as much ash as other parts of the country did. But a lot of people had to um, basically wash their gutters. They had to restrict their water use and also uh, their motors, the cars for example, couldn't take the ash in their air cooling system, well, sorry, the air cleaning system. So there are a lot of warnings, a lot of information going out there. And I'll be honest, the, the concern isn't so much a concern as it's more respect for the maunga. So the thing being local is the mountain isn't really a big rock, or it's not a bit of dirt, it's a mountain, it's a spiritual beast, it's a creature, um, and we've got to respect that as locals. Um, the thing that a lot of people see is, what we see it as, is a living, breathing entity. So by its venting, heating and cooling, that's exactly what you want. We as locals probably get more concerned when we don't see the heating and cooling cycle because that means that there's a disruption, there's probably something coming. So the fact that the mountain is actually heating and cooling is a good thing. So we want it to keep doing those cycles, little burps and little gases, little uh, uh, bits coming up and down and then temperature dropping is perfectly normal, it's what we want to see. Obviously everyone knows Awakuni is an amazing winter destination. Uh, the skiing, it's a, we like to think of Awakuni as a, a party town with the ski problem. Um, the one thing that's really kicked off and been awesome is the summer sides blowing up. Um, the biking has got huge with all of our beautiful trails and because people are coming for biking, they're also staying to go hiking, fishing, camping, hunting. We've just got an array of streams and rivers and beautiful native forests that, again, both sides are really taking off. So 